hello once again welcome i'm here in nature the breeze is blowing and it's beautiful it feels great to be in nature and the breeze is blowing even more as i say this oh wow it's so wonderful it's so divine mm. oh yes oh yes today i want to talk about death and when people hear the word death most think that it's a bad thing something undesirable and they just don't want to die there's even a song about it it says everybody wants to go to heaven but nobody wants to die and when someone dies very often physical beings as we are we're often in pain we're often sad we wish we could have reversed it People often say, I wish rest in peace meant return if possible. So a lot of mankind feels bad, especially when their loved one has passed, whether it be a brother, sister, mother, father. It's like we just don't want to go when we look at things from a physical and a human standpoint. The good news is that all of this feeling about death shouldn't be because death is an illusion death is not real there is no death as physical beings we see it as death but it is not really a death as in a ceasing to exist because we are eternal you are eternal I am eternal. It means we go on and on and on. There is no beginning and there is no ending. Beginning and ending is something that human beings created as physical beings. But death, you don't die. Your body dies, quote unquote, but you continue. You continue. We came here, we decided to come here. We decided to come to this planet knowing fully well that we were not coming here forever and we were fine with it. We knew that eventually we would go back, back into who we really are. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. We fear death why because we do not look at the bigger picture and the bigger picture is that leaving this planet your physical body ceasing to exist at least for a while is all part of the plan and your inner being 
the higher you wants it like that. And that is why you leave, even if it meant creating an excuse. Like illness is just an excuse that we made up, human beings together made up, so that we could leave or go, for a better word is go, because you're not really leaving as such. So think saying that just being sick, let me get my thoughts together. Being sick is a great excuse because let's say you have to tell your wife, for example, hey, babe, I'm just fed up of this life and I'm going. I'm out of here and you leave. Think of how cruel that would sound. But if you're sick, then they understand, okay, he was sick, so he left. He, he died because he was sick. So it's almost like an excuse. Also, as we're on the subject of death, you must understand that we have been here before. You have been here before. You came here to experience contrast, to experience new things, and then you out of here. We have to look at the big picture. The big picture is that it's okay. You see, we want to hold on to that body, despite the fact that we've seen that no one has held on to that physical body. Nobody. If you've been on earth for a little while, you'll realize that no one has stayed. Everyone goes because it is all part of the plan. And it's fine. And it is something that is very difficult for us as humans to understand. Whether you die in a car accident, of a heart attack, whether you're murdered, it's just a way of getting out of here. Like you need a car, a train, a bus or something to get from one point to the other. A death, quote, and quote, is the vehicle that takes you out of here because you're not staying in that physical body forever. You, as a physical, you having this physical experience, you just an extension of the bigger you. Remember, you are a spiritual being having a physical experience. So, it's almost like you're a so-called dead person. That part of you is still there. That part that you can't see and touch is still there. And you being here is an extension of that. Because you keep growing. You keep adding more experience. And when you leave the planet, so-called leave, pass away, as they say, when you transition, that's the better word, you, you're just adding more to your experience. There is no ending to you. You are eternal. You come from God. You come from God. As Jesus Christ said, you are God. And there is no ending to God. Energy cannot be destroyed. And I'm fine with it. I'm fine with dying. I'm fine. 
the physical part of me wants to continue. When I look at things from a physical level, I wouldn't want to be killed right now as I am in nature. I wouldn't want to die later or today or whatever. That is the physical me speaking. But my inner being says it's okay and that is freedom. My inner being says that it's all part of the equation. Because you're not ending. I've been to funerals and obviously I've experienced death of family members. And many times, well not many times, but some of my family members who died, I did not cry. I did not cry. I remember when my aunt died, and I love her dearly, but I did not cry because I know that her inner being, the bigger part of who she is, wanted it like that. It's okay. She wanted it like that. If you watch things from a purely physical and earthly level, you think that it's a bad thing. You cry, but then the real you, which is an extension of source, source knows, source. The bigger you knows that it's okay. It is all part of it. You come here to experience stuff, and then you go. Why are we so afraid of death? We are afraid of the unknown. We're like, okay, I know this now, but I don't know for sure what is beyond this life on planet Earth. So I'm fearful. And we try to preserve death at all costs. There's even, even suicide is a crime. Punishable, a punishable crime. So it's almost like we kind of decide on our own to say, I'm out of here, I'm going to the bigger part of who I am, which is divine, which is God. We are God having a physical experience. We are infinite. We cannot finish. We cannot end. World without end. You without end. Amen. So we do all sorts of things to preserve, to keep people living. We try everything. And we hear, you see the birds in the distance. I hope you could hear it. And it's so wonderful to be here in nature. Speaking to you, I just love to come into nature and to just ponder, ponder. Because this thing is so much deeper. This thing is so much more than our five senses. Sometimes we have to pause and look at the bigger picture, the bigger picture, the bigger picture is that death is just an illusion and there is no death. Isn't that freeing? It is freeing to me. It is liberating. Live peacefully, enjoy your life and know that <laughs> you cannot die. Nobody could get rid of you. You're eternal, just like Jesus Christ. Eternal. And when and you read the story in the Bible of how he was nailed to the cross, killed, but he rose back. 
and the light is shining. You are just like Jesus Christ in that you are eternal and you're not going to perish ever. Because you chose life and life is eternal. So there's no need to fear death. There is no need at all. So wonderful. So wonderful. The trees don't fear death. The animals, the physical part of them, the body never wants to, to, to be destroyed. But they come and go. We come and we go. We knew that when we were coming here, we would be going away sometime and we were fine with it as the light is shining upon me. And I said, light, blessings, all the divine vibrations upon you as the breezes blow in. And we know that there is no death. Abraham Hicks calls it Abraham, who, who is channeled by Esther Hicks, they call it croaking. And it's almost laughable. After we pass and we look at things from that non-physical perspective, it will be something to laugh about. <laughs> it will be something to laugh about. What are we afraid of? This is just a small thing in, the whole, in eternity. Our life here is very small in terms of the bigness of eternity. Have you heard about the near-death experience? People who had a near-death experience it has been documented. So many people who have had. What's the light on my hand? Ooh. <laughs> it feels divine. It looks divine. Mm. People who have had the near death experience. It has been documented. So many people. And lots of scientists, they can't even understand. You were you here on this hospital bed as the light shines. You hear on this hospital bed and doctors pronounce you dead. You actually dead. Quote unquote, because we have to be careful with the word death. There is no death. But from this physical perspective, you're dead. The machine says you're dead. You flatlined. And the next step is to get you to the mortuary or wherever they're going to get you. Because you're dead. It's been written. The records are there to show. A doctor has pronounced you gone. D-E-A-D. -E -D, dead. <laughs> but these people... They come back. And scientists cannot understand because these people were supposed to be non-conscious or unconscious or they, no consciousness because you're dead. Your brain is dead. Everything is dead. But they were able to say everything that transpired in the room. They were able to say, talk about things that happened out of the room they were in. They were able to see their body lying on the bed. There's a story of this lady who, something I, I always stays in my mind, how, and she spoke about, she has never heard such great reviews about her because her obituary was there in the newspaper and everybody was talking so favorably about her. You know how good we, how we talk about people when they're dead. They always, we always, most of the time, 99% of the time, see them as a good person. So yes, so she experienced these things. And, she, and when she came back, she was able to say it in detail. 
So for a moment, and everybody talks about the, the light they saw, some people see their dead grandparents, their dead mother, their dead father, and then they welcome them, and then they say, it is not your time yet. You still have certain stuff to do. <laughs> it is not your time yet. You know, it's so easy going for those who have already passed, for those who are, have returned to the non-physical. But we make a big deal out of it in the physical. And then they're able to say things and then there is a common thread among all these stories. There are similarities. And it's, it's mind-boggling, scientists. Some people try to say that. Some scientists say that it must have been something going on in the brain. See, they, they're having difficulty explaining it. Because a lot of these scientists, some of them, they think that everything is physical, but it's not just physical. We are not just machines. We are not just machines. We are not like a, a car or a refrigerator or this thing. We are <laughs> we are God. We are God experiencing this planet. Right now I am God experiencing nature. You are God experiencing the juiciness of thought the juiciness of this depth of conversation or this monologue or whatever you want to call it. And the death experience is something I love to dive into and watch because I think it's so beautiful to look beyond the physical, to go beyond, to dive deep for instance, an iceberg, you see, what is it? Is it 30% at the top and there's 70% beneath the surface. So I like to go deep beneath the surface. There is so much. It is not all about what you could see, smell, touch, hear and taste. It's not only about your five senses. It is said that there's a sixth sense, but there's it's more than a sixth sense. It's more than a sixth sense. And there are people who know stuff beyond that, like legitimate psychics, mediums, who are able to communicate with the dead, with those who have gone before. And a lot of people will be quick to dismiss it because of where they get the information and where they get the indoctrination from. As you go on living your life, understand that as mysterious as death is, and it is hard for us as humans to understand because of the software, I like to call it software, we're running, but death is an illusion. You see, because of the software we have, quote unquote, Try to, let's say, you want to record a song. I'm a musician, and I record music, I produce, I'm an artist. Let's say you want to record a song. You need the right, you need recording software. Software, whether it be Cubase, Logic. You need recording software. You may have the best computer, but without recording software, The computer cannot understand the music. The, com the computer is clueless. So you will not be able to record a song. You will not be able, the computer will not be able to understand what you're doing. It, it just cannot grasp it. It doesn't have the software. So it's almost like human beings, most of us don't have that software. So we cannot fully grasp death. Because we are different person when we come. We are extension of source, but we're manifesting differently as the light is coming down. And it's welcome in my video. <laughs> yes. 
but you can upgrade your software through meditation, through diving deep, and to understand what death is really about. So, in conclusion, death is an illusion. There is no death. When you leave here, you're just going back into the non-physical and it continues and you can come back. People do come back and it goes on and on. Life doesn't end. You are an eternal being and you're here forever and ever. Time is an illusion. I send you infinite blessing as the light is shining down on me. May the light shine on you too. May you be fully blessed. That is my prayer. Amen. This is Manchas Kazabo and you're on the Manchas Way YouTube channel. I want to feel your vibes. I want to feel your energy. Whether it be a comment, a like, a share. One love. Peace.